Welcome back! It is Kelsey with Real with Mrs. B, and I feel like it has been way too long since I've posted a video, and I'm probably going to post another video tomorrow, just giving you a life update with uh, why it's been so long <laughs> and everything. But I'm back today on time, August 15th, with my mid month budget update using everydollar.com. So, I don't know about you, but August has been a trying month so far. Um, a few things have come up. I've had to change this budget many times already, but uh, that's what you have to do with budgeting. You can't expect each month to go exactly um, as planned. Things come up, things change, you make mistakes, <laughs> and uh, you got to roll with the punches. So let me go through how it's uh, going so far. So, uh, my income was less than expected, not awesome. Um, I'm only getting paid once this month. Um, I will be starting uh, work on August 23rd again. I'll talk about that in my life update. But um, just for August, that's as much as I am getting. John got one paycheck so far, and he is on track to make less than I expected this month, too, which is a huge bummer, and I'll probably have to adjust this again, but, um, you know, that's the way it goes. I kind of expected August and September to be kind of difficult because of me not working all of August, so, you know, you do what you do. Anyway, um, other... Uh, so far, my birthday is tomorrow. My grandparents gave me a birthday check of $40. And then um, for online surveys for Pinecone Research, I cashed out $20. So I just need to um, cash those checks and I'll have $60 extra dollars to work with. Now, originally I did not have money going into our emergency fund. I had forgotten that uh, $25 was already scheduled to be transferred from checking to savings. So that went through and I decided not to change it right now. I'll see how the rest of the month goes and if I need to transfer that back into checking, I'll do so. But it's $25, it's fine right now. So uh, moving on, we paid our apartment, 932. Our phone was 154.30, which was just under what I had expected because I didn't uh, buy any songs last month um, to listen to while I dog walk. Our internet, I think I talked about it, is going to be a little bit higher because they charge more this month and it's going to be less next month. It's really stupid. But anyway, I haven't paid that yet. I did get my energy bill and it was way higher than expected um, and that will be taken out later in the month as well. Uh, gas. I did end up lowering this just because uh, we haven't spent a great deal so far. We are going out of town this week. Um, that will be like a three and a half hour drive one way. So we will be using some gas then. But I really don't think that will go over 130. So I did um, shrink that down a little bit. My husband paid for parking $60. Groceries, um, I raised it just a couple bucks just to even things out to make a zero base budget. Um, I have already gotten groceries for this next week. If you watched my last video, I did a two week grocery haul. And so I have $81 for um, the following two weeks. And I think I really want to stay within that goal. If not, I'll use one of my dog walking uh, $15 to cover some of that, but I think we'll we'll be okay. Uh, restaurants, we are on track there. Drinks, we don't have a whole lot left, but um, you know, that's our own fault. Uh, I paid Netflix already. Gym will be coming out um, probably today. Household supplies, um, I'm trying to remember. I did buy some um, toilet paper, and a new pitcher and oven mitts because I burned my finger because the went right through the oven mitt. Um, some soap for my tattoo uh, to clean it, uh, things like that. But I'm actually kind of proud because if you notice in my last few videos, household or my budgeting videos, household supplies is somewhere that I struggle with. And I knew this month that we really have to be frugal, so um, I haven't been going, you know to, you know, to the store a whole bunch of times getting stuff. So 
It's just the necessary things. Like we needed to get um, dishwashed soap too. That was the other thing. Anyway, um, I raised my personal money um, just because I got money from my grandparents for my birthday. Um, I felt like I deserved a little bit of it. So I'm on track. I did get some um, books for AP Psychology that I'll be teaching in the fall. My husband has pretty much used up <laughs> all of his spend money. That's a bummer. Um, my birthday is tomorrow. Anniversary is two days after that. So this is the 75 that we'll be spending um, for that. Let's see, you paid auto insurance. Um, my student loans, we didn't pay yet. And then I did change some things about our envelopes just because, you know, I made less and I had to accommodate um, my car maintenance. It's a weird number because I went and got my oil change, a tire rotation, and everything, and it cost $3,404. So um, I just paid for it with debit instead of taking cash out of the cash envelope because I have been saving up for new tires that I want to get by winter time. And uh, they flat out told me that I should get it very soon too because my tread is pretty bad on my back tires. So um, I need to make sure that I have enough money uh, saved up for that in my sinking funds to pay for that by winter. John's car, um, we do want to save up for a new car. Um, we, we will take out a hundred for that unless, um, you know, we don't have enough income this month to fund that. I really haven't touched how much I we want to pay for uh, my my student loans. So, um, you know, I've been taking things from the envelopes and stuff like that instead. I mean, like, I haven't been putting money into the envelopes this month and instead keeping up with paying um, a good chunk towards student loans because that is to me the most important thing we can do right now. Um, so I did remove some of the amounts. I think that I had some going into these categories. We did need to take out 20 for laundry. The cats, I just made it 31.94 because uh, we got um, some litter and stuff to stock up on it because it was on sale. Uh, I did keep beauty and clothing because tomorrow I'm getting my hair cut, so I will adjust that amount depending on how much that costs. I think it will probably be about $25, so I can reduce that. And then my mom's birthday, she shares it with me tomorrow, so I do want to get her something. I haven't figured out what because she's so complicated. Anyway, uh, that is how it's going so far. As you can see, I've made a lot of changes. Uh, please leave comments below letting me know how your August is going so far. It seems like it's going so quickly and I'm not ready because I have a lot going on start September. Um, but let me know how your August is going and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I love hearing from you guys and enjoy the rest of your week. I'll talk to you guys soon.